So how do you actually burn carpet seams? What's good everybody, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I didn't speed anything up, well maybe just a little bit, but we're doing step by step how you can do a carpet seam, both if you're a pro and if you're a DIY person, we're gonna walk through that as well. So first things first, you gotta have a nice, fresh, clean edge on both sides of the carpet to get a beautiful seam. So I'm going down the line right now. If you do not have a steady hand, let's say you're a total newbie DIY type person, use a straight edge, just fold it back, trace the straight edge with your blade to get a nice, clean edge on the carpet. That way, that one's good to go. Now next, we're gonna spread the fibers a little bit and just make little incisions on the carpet below it here. This is gonna be our template. Totally frowned upon in the industry, but highly, highly effective. We like effectiveness. So we're gonna go ahead and make those slits all the way down. And then when we get to the other side there, we're gonna fold that back. There we go. And then we're gonna find all those little slits we just made on the carpet here. So you can just kind of put a little bend in it and they'll all start to pop out. Once again, you got a nice steady hand, play connect the dots. If you're a newbie, not having done this a lot, not real steady with the razor, put a straight edge from dot to dot to dot. You don't have to go all the way across. You just go from one to the next to the next. So you could use like a six inch straight edge, even a little ruler or whatever to go ahead and make this happen until you get all the way to the other side. So we're just slowly working our way across. Once again, that razor blade better be sharp. Don't chintz out and use a dull old blade because your seam will show that you used a dull old blade. So you want to be fresh, you want to be sharp, you want to be good to go. Bam, bam, everything lines up good. We're happy so far. Next, you need your seam tape. You unroll it wall to wall and add about four inches to that. Get that seam tape out the way, fold it back. Throw your feet in there. Yeah, you use all body parts when you're in the carpet game. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the hands and tools. You throw your feet in there, use your head. Most people don't use their head in this industry, but you know what I'm saying. We're going to take it end to end and fold the tape under at each end, like two inches under on each side. And I apologize for not catching a close up of that. But the reason we want to do that is it's going to make it pop up on the tack strip a little bit where the tape would typically dip down and it'll make your seam burn evenly at the ends. Now we're gonna bring the seam iron into play here. Be careful when you're setting the iron on there, you wanna fold the carpet back, make sure the iron doesn't touch the top of the carpet, singeing the fibers and making it a horrific mess. Get the tray at the other end there, because by doing that, when you pull the seam iron out, you don't wanna go into full panic and say, where am I gonna put this hot iron at? It's right there waiting for you. You just set it down, everything's gonna be okay. Slide the iron and iron's length forward Basically let it sit on the same spot for about 10 seconds roughly. And then you slide it forward, blend in the first part of it. You can go ahead and tuck it right up against the wall if you cut it evenly just to hold it in place. Not always necessary, you could do that after the fact too, but you just wanna make sure it's down and tight. Slide the iron slings forward, blend it in. Yeah, I got the magic touch right there, so I just touch it and the seam goes invincible. You know what I'm saying? People love that stuff. No extra tools needed here. Take the seam iron, Continue sliding it forward, working our way to the other end there. I'm gonna blend that seam right in, boom, boom. Life is good, almost done. Let that sit there for another 10 seconds or so. And then here is where a little bit of strategy comes into play. It looks like absolutely nothing, but watch. When we slide the iron out here, look at me, stalling. I'm not pulling the iron out yet. La, 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 la. All right, watch how we swoop this here. See how you kinda Lift up and then swoop the back side all the way along the tape there. By doing this, you will not pull the seam tape out with the iron and getting glue all over the top of the carpet. So it's just a little swoop technique. That's all there is to it. And you've done a perfect seam. Congratulations. I knew you had it in you there, Rockstar. Appreciate you checking this out and I'll see you on the next video.